Warning, this video may or may not contain spoilers. You have been warned. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Adrian Theos from Red Griffin Games. And uh, I'm here to talk about uh, something interesting. I hear a lot of controversy over who will win in a fight. Batman or Superman? Dun, dun, dun. So, this argument has been going on forever, it seems. I mean, long since before I was born, it seems. Uh, who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? Man of Steel or the Dark Knight, you know, both are very good opponents uh, versus each other. I mean, they're almost equal, even though Batman's human and Superman's, well, a god, basically. Um, I think, ultimately, this showdown would lead to only one victor in the end and that victor I hate to say it to all you people that love the man of seal you know cuz yeah he's cool and all he's got those powers he's cool but Batman's gonna take him down every time every single time you know why because he's Batman not because of the billions of dollars and and not because he's Batman really but because he's just a different person than Bruce. Or, psh, did I just say Bruce? Wow. A different person than Clark, uh, a.k.a. Superman. Um, and this all goes down to, the, I, I guess, the type of uh, life they've had. I mean, you look at Clark, and, yeah, he's, he's a superhero. He takes down crime and stuff. But he doesn't really know the criminal aspect. He doesn't know how criminals think. Batman does. Batman's not only studied psychologically how criminals do things and act, but he's studied the criminal lifestyle as well. And he's trained his body, his mind, everything to ensure that justice can happen. True justice. Not some kind of bullcrap justice that doesn't make sense. And I think that's one of the reasons I love Batman. He's, he's very cool. Um, but you ask probably, Adrian, how do you know Batman would win? Well, it all comes down to a movie I've seen recently. Now, this is going to have some spoilers, so if you haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises, or not The Dark Knight Rises, is it The Return of the Dark Knight, Part 1 and 2, animation. Um, now, this takes place in Bruce Wayne's life really late in his life. I want to say he's about 50 years old, 60 maybe? He's old. What are you doing? Do you want me to kill you? Oh, you're not going to kill me. He's getting old in, in the age. And, uh, a lot happens. I, I'm not going to spoil much. Uh, but part one's interesting. Part two is where it gets really interesting. And Superman has to come in. Uh, spoiler. Superman comes in. And, uh... He comes in and he's told to, you gotta take out Batman. He's causing trouble. Not really. He's just doing a better job than the government did, you know. Um, but, I'm trying to think here. Oh, okay. Batman at 60 years old or 50 or something, way past his prime. 
takes on Superman in a battle. Of, co of course, he's in a super bat suit, of course. But, hey, hey, I mean, if you're gonna fight the Man of Steel, might as well wear some armor of yourself, you know? Bat suit of steel. Steel versus steel. How do you like that, Superman? <laughs> um, in the end, in the end, I'm gonna spoil this. Batman takes down Superman. And he has him there on the ground. And he's like, Clark, you listen carefully. I could have planned this even more so. You know, all I needed to do was just add one more dose of kryptonite. Or, you know, a, a single molecule, uh, a drop of just kryptonite, just one more drop, and you would have died. And you would not come back. So know that before I die, that I, Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, a lowly human being, was able to take on the Man of Steel and take him down. Now! It wasn't easy to make, Clark. It took years and cost a fortune. Luckily, I had both. You're feeling it now, aren't you? What the rest of us live with every day. Your own mortality. Don't worry, you'll survive. The kryptonite will work its way out of your lungs soon enough. Bruce, your heart. But I didn't have to go easy on you. A different binding agent, a stronger mix. I want you to remember that. I wanted to remind you to stay out of my way. In all the years to come, in your most private moments, I want you to remember the one man who beat you. Bruce! And he could have easily killed Superman. Easily. But that's not the point he wanted to get across, because Batman doesn't kill. That's not Batman. You know, he wanted to get a point across to Clark that what Clark was doing was wrong, which he was basically taking orders from the President of the United States uh, to do things and stuff. And who's to say that one man has enough power to basically tell the Man of Steel what to do? You know, if anything, I think Clark is naive, and he should be able to think for himself, like Batman does, but that's not the type of personality Clark has, and one of the reasons I kind of dislike Superman, because he does take orders, he's a military type sort of guy, he's not military, he's, he's the type of guy that, oh my god, there's, so, there's something going down, call Superman, quick! You know, something goes down, they call Superman. Batman's the guy in the shadows taking care of all the crazy stuff. So again, Batman wins. I'm just saying, you know, which is more appealing, Superman, Batman? I'd say Batman. I mean, it only makes sense. Batman's just cooler. And finally, we go back to life choices. Now, we've got Bruce Wayne, aka Batman. Pretty much Sherlock Holmes of his time. He's probably the greatest detective ever. On top of that, he's been trained in probably so many martial arts, it's not even funny. Now, if you go based on some of the comics, he studies 
the art of, uh, well, depending on which version, karate, taijutsu, I mean, there's so many martial arts that Batman covers, uh, ninjutsu, um, as well as Bushido, I believe, um, in one comic or another. I, I believed he was trained as a samurai in, in one version or another. Anyways, so Batman's got that over Superman. Superman may have power, but power means nothing if you don't know where to hit. You know, Batman knows where to hit, where all the nerves are, where, you know, where to hit Superman and Superman to feel it. And be like, oh, oh, kidney shot, you know. Th th that's how I work it out in my mind. Also, Bruce has got the reflexes, and the uh, I don't know if he's got the speed to match Superman because I mean it is Superman, but I think Batman's reflexes and ability to compensate over Superman's ability of strength and speed uh, because Bruce has already worked it out in his mind what Superman's gonna do because let's be honest Superman's pretty predictable he comes in shoots his laser eyes uses his super strength maybe freezes ya I mean it, it's all very typical um, where Batman, you don't know where he's coming from. He'd come from there, he'd come from there, he'd come from behind you. I mean, Batman lurks in the shadows and fights injustice. I mean, he's a ninja. <laughs> You're not going to beat a ninja, one that's been trained like like Batman has. And that's just my opinion. Um... You know, you're welcome to your own. I have nothing against Superman fans. Uh, and nothing against Superman himself. You know, he's a great superhero. It's just, at the bottom end of the day, you know, I believe that Batman would be very superior to Superman. Superman will outlive Batman. That is true. Because Superman's from another planet. His age process is very different from ours he'll be around for probably 200 years after Batman aka Bruce Wayne dies and you know and Superman will still be around so Superman will have that he'll be able to outlive Batman but Batman continues because Batman is a symbol Kind of like Superman, you know, the S, I guess, but, you know, ba I, I believe Batman will continue because, I mean, look, Batman Beyond, uh, with uh, Terry McGinnis as Batman, not as cool as Bruce Wayne Batman, but he, he's, he's got some stuff. He, he's about as cool as uh, not Nightwing, I'd say, which... It, Nightwing's pretty cool, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Nightwing's pretty badass. Anyways, I'm Adrian Theos, and I'm sorry for ranting on and on about Batman versus Superman and all this. I just felt like I uh, needed to rant about this. I mean, it is very interesting. Superheroes versus superheroes and supervillains versus supervillains. Like, who would win? Joker or Lex Luthor? That would be an interesting fight. Because Lex Luthor's got the money and power, but Joker is completely insane. And, oh my gosh, that would be an interesting battle. I don't know who would win there, but... I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And as...
As always, until next time.